This is Backstage Story TV and on this episode of the Backstage Story TV program we are talking electricity, Nigeria. The problem in Nigeria, the major problem if you ask an average person on the street is electricity. That has been a major challenge to Nigerians and to Nigeria. A lot of industries have moved out of the country because of this major challenge of electricity. But right now I'm at the premises of a young talented Nigerian who has invented wireless electricity wow you say okay good we are going to explore how it works what is wireless electricity tesla from 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 research tesla has attempted something of this nature but it was killed because of capitalists in the in the market now in nigeria a young talented nigerian has invented wireless electricity we need to encourage our own and make sure that it come to limelight that is why backstage story tv has gone the extra mile to bring this to your knowledge don't go anywhere we'll continue shortly Yeah, we are at the, at the premises of the young Nigerian, talented Nigerian, who has decided to come up with an alternative source of electricity, wireless electricity. His name is Alabi Olushola. He's where we are with him, not here. He is not here with me. We are here with him at his premises, his engineering premises. That's what I'll call it because there's so much here and I'm afraid to even touch any device so that I don't get electrocuted because these devices may be very small, but they generate quite uh, an enormous electric charge. Alabi Olushola, nice to have you on the show. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, now, from the, from the start, who exactly are you? Um, my name is Alabi Olushola. I'm a scientist, so I do research a lot. So that's basically what I do. Now, did you have any university knowledge, like studying electrical, electrical engineering, or what, 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 what prompts this creation? No, I'm not uh, an engineering student. But right in secondary school, I studied, I'm a science student. So I have some knowledge in physics. So it's one of those things that move me forward. All right. Before now, you were doing potato. You are using potato to generate electricity. Yes. And then now you are, you are doing wireless. Have you abandoned the potato project and why? Why did you? Because now there's so much, there's so less noise about your potato project and there's much noise about the wireless. Why did you leave the potato project for this? Uh, the potato project needs a lot of fund. And so since the fund is now coming, but I can see that wireless electricity now, a lot of people embrace the idea so much. And due to the lack of power supply, a lot of people need to charge their phone to use their equipment. So I decided to move this one forward since it is what people need. And we don't have electricity in this part of country. So with this um, technology now, so you can be able to charge your phone if there is electricity or without electricity. That is one. Another aspect is um, you don't need a charger. You don't need to be uh, to be fixed with charger before you can charge your phone. So you just have to place your phone on the yeah, pad so and it will charge. And that's not where we are really going. Where we are actually going is you can between few meters away. Just put your phone in your pocket and the phone will be fully charged. Wow. So that is technology we are working towards. Alabi Olushola is working on a technology where your phone will be in your pocket and it will be charging. Do you think there is going to be any health side effects, like health challenge associated with some of these things that you're, you're, you're talking about? Um, I've, due to the research, there is no um, technology side effect of it um, because um, like you are using your Wi-Fi. Okay. So that is how this one is also working. Even if you put your hand in between the the power station and the receiver so that your, your hand won't even block it so uh, that's why i said there's no side effect and i've of also searched and done a lot of research on it so whether there can be side effect but yeah, it's no side effect. So just like we use Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for 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 electrical devices, yes. is the same thing with this electricity. Yes. Now, there in in physics, from my knowledge of physics, there are basic principles that work for every technology. What principle are you applying for this? Um, when I first conceived the idea that uh, can we just have electricity wirelessly? So when I studied through 
books so i can find out that uh, tesla was the first one to do something related to what i'm trying to do and the principle is electromagnetic induction mm. so that's the principle that is working with wireless power transfer electromagnetic induction now, you must have gone through a lot of discouragements or challenges uh, during the process of you know you used raw materials yes yes so you just went to the market bought some raw materials and came up with this when i first started in fact it was totally difficult because i have to use some of my home electronics so i have to pcc it and bring out those thing i need but later along the line i just met one man one day said all this equipment you can find it at so 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 place i said wow so i went to the place and that thing also make it more easier so but right here in Asia to get all those material yeah some are very difficult but, but all the material you have used so far you got them from nigeria yes, yes. okay is it are you talking in terms of producing it in mass now you won't have access to all the materials you need yes i'm um, to the next thing we need now is to do a mass production we have tested it some people have even tested it and it's working perfectly so what we actually need now is the mass production so and another thing that can that is challenges now is for mass production we need machine to do it and that one we don't have it here mm. one is um, just a demonstration of what we are talking about of wireless power transfer if you want to actually use it in the house so we are going to the house is going to be specially constructed to receive wireless power transfer. So those are the... Okay, there's going to be a construction. A yes, construction. it's not actually a construction, but you know, and as well I have to fix, you know, the wall. Okay. There should be something like, something like this. That, that will, will, yes, that will, be able to that will re be able to reflect the magnetic power that is in with this so that the thing will be able to circulate so that any electronic devices you are using within the place will be able to to power so those are the the one we are currently working on now but this one is just to demonstrate that power can be can be transferred wirelessly so the, actually this battery can never power this bulb so and that's another area too the wireless power transfer is going to use a very low power unlike the one we are consuming a lot of power yes so it's going to use a very low power to conduct electricity to conduct high electricity yes to any home appliances just yeah. more minimum power yes that's that, that that's what we are talking about and we are going to achieve that very very soon Yes. So how do you charge phone with this? So the one we use to charge phone. So this is the one we use to charge phone. So this is the part. So we call this one a. This is a transmitter. So, but due to many um, phone now, they are not compatible. So that's why we have this one. This one is receiver. But there are phones that currently compatible, like some phone. Okay. They are compatible right now. So this one will be attached to the back of the phone that is not compatible okay. for now, so that it can receive wireless power transfer. So. Okay, with the ports, the ports will be connected to the phone. Yes. Okay. To be connected to the phone. So every phone that has a port will have its own port receiver. Yes. When the phone is compatible, you can see this one is charging now. So if I move it away, so. Okay, how, many, how much distance will should be between the phone and the... And the uh, this one is prototype, but at okay. least the one we are talking about is between 2 meters to around 15 meters. Okay, so if you are away from the phone... So if you are away, but this one is the prototype. Okay. So this one is around 2, two, two meters. Okay. Yes, so... See, it's charging now.
but any phone that is compatible you don't need to attach anything to it you just place it and the phone is charging automatically and when the phone is through we have built it in such a way that the f it will not be overcharged okay. so that so it, the phone is going to turn off, it right? will turn off automatically so that is what we are working on and this one is more let's say 80 percent ready so what we actually need for this now is the commercialization aspect of it yes so we actually need and this one we don't need electricity it's work with or without electricity even if we don't have electricity at all let's say in the village or anywhere it will still be able to charge your phone so how would you achieve that is it with solar or what yes it will with solar so those are the two area we we have designed it we have designed it already so that it can it work with solar and inbuilt um, backup okay, so backup. yes so there is backup because there are times that you may not have light at all and there won't be solar uh, the sun so that maybe in the night you can still charge your phone up to 24 hours now this project now when do nigerians expect you to launch eventually what what time lag are you looking at um it's depend on the fund we actually wish any time from now let's assume we have get somebody to invest into this in the next one month this product is ready for 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 use so it is depend on the the investors okay so if you if you have foreign people or international connection that need that can support you you wouldn't mind i thought we would, we would love that okay. yes you have been watching the backstage story tv and today on the special talent segment we have listened and seen alabi olushola the nigerian that young nigerian he did not go to university remember that that was why i asked that question he didn't go to the university and he can produce this alabi olushola is an example that nigeria is loaded with talents and we can achieve whatever we decide to do with our lives this is backstage story tv and until I meet you again, do well, keep well, and stay atop your game.